Do the honors. I'm supposed to eat this? Really? You know, watching you cook this was just a letdown. We're gonna go from 11 down to 10, and this is what you bring? Go. This is the most important dish of your life, guys. You see this? This is Do you know where the Grana Padana cheese comes from, what milk it's made out of? No, sir. Do you know what a caper is? I don't know what they taste like, but I don't know what they are. Do you are. know what balsamic vinegar is? It's the black salad dressing. This is the difference between excelling in this competition and being sent home. Why did you put sauce underneath it as well? I mean, if it had any chance of being a pizza, it'd be crispy. I was just trying to get some color on the plate. This is a waste of our time and your time in this kitchen. It pissed Joe off, it pissed Gordon off, but I thought it tasted good. It'd, be, it'd definitely be a piece of what I would order. The toasted slices on the top, it tells me it's gonna scream of texture and dark, rich flavors. Thank you. Yeah, I disagree. I think the toast cheapens the dish. So you don't serve garlic bread in your restaurants? No. Oh, excuse There's me. no such thing as garlic bread in Italy. So <laughs> I think it cheapens it and makes it less than it could be. I disagree. If you want to do something interesting, take the sausage, make a pate, spread the pate on the toasted bread. I'm just trying to push you to the next level. Catch it, chef. Would you like a bite of garlic bread? That's the, kind of rest, that's the kind of restaurants you guys go to. Would you like a bread? No, I don't want any garlic bread. You're such a <laughs> snob. I think with this dish, you're not even playing the game. You didn't listen to what we asked for today. This dish would make an excellent ice cream topping. It's not a dish. Thanks, Richard. Thank you. Step back, please. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't have to eat it, really. You don't. I'm a judge here, so why don't you let me figure out what I have to do and what I don't have to do. I know how to do my job. the honors. I, I, I don't understand. She's been nice to you, but the whole thing with you is you have this very cavalier attitude. You don't know what you're cooking, what dish you're making with 10 minutes left. Then you come up here and get misty-eyed with us, like, oh, poor me again. I got screwed up, and I'm getting tired of it. Because if you were smart, you would duplicate a plate. The fact that you're not even thinking of playing this game properly is really annoying. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna taste this. You want 15 of the same dishes up here? If you're here putting your spin on everything you make because you wanna show us how cutesy and intelligent and crafty you are, well, that's gonna get you a one-way ticket back to wherever you came from. And then you could show your friends and the six people who told you were good how cutesy and smart you are when you're home cooking at dinner parties while the rest of this group goes on and competes to become the next master chef. So, I want pasta cooked properly because you know what? That's... The only thing worse than a cook who can't boil is a narcissist in full denial. Thank you for nothing. Now you're talking my language. Great truffles. The problem with your food is you have not seasoned anything. You guys cannot even decide what truffle flavor tastes like unless you put salt in it. I, I, I did put salt in it. You did you not see put the any salt in it. You Do can't you see tell me you're making it. Yeah, no. I put salt in there. Is no I put salt, salt in, in there. I There's put no a salt little in there. I'm not. It's not seasoned. Mark, he think he know everything. He done learning. And then you know your parents have a diner. Doesn't mean you know everything. This is wrong. Uh, you know, with my own arrogance to not listen to Mark, three of Mark, arrogance? You. Are you kidding me? You remember that we made a deal. You were going to listen to me. And together, we were going to take you to the finale. Well, you just decided to take your own road. 
you're in MasterChef. If you are directed to do something properly and you choose not to do it, then I don't know if I made the right decision in investing my apron in you. What's the filling? Uh, dark chocolate and peanut butter. Dark chocolate and peanut butter, all right, let's see. Oh, no filling, what happened? I don't know, I thought I had it all the way in there, I squeezed the bag. Is that like a, was that part of your imagination, the filling, or did it actually happen? No filling again. I mean, wow. I have no excuses. Well, you certainly don't. I mean, especially for the fact that you come here and you tell me you're gonna give me a filled donut, I don't even know what, what this is. You tasted that? Yes. Tastes right to you? I, it, it could be better. For me, it's really about tasting the bitterness of coffee. and I don't feel that this dessert has that component. I think the custard tastes goopy, kind of like Elmer's glue with, with coffee syrup in it. So for me, it's a no. Okay. Catfish eats mud and algae. So what does it taste like? mud. Your catfish tastes like mud. And my issue with you and our interchange before is that you think you know it all, then go cook it all yourself at home. I know because I don't this know defensive act, no, shut up, just listen to me a second. At this point, you're wasting my time. And I don't like to have my time wasted. For me, you're done. Good job, Lynn. At least you let me know who's really here to play.